KineMaster lets you create incredible videos, has a ton of tools, thousands of assets, and mix where you can show off your finished work. None of that is possible without having something to edit. When you create a new KineMaster project, the media browser immediately loads. The media browser gives you access to videos and images that are saved to your Photos app on iOS or Gallery app on Android. Toggle between videos and images on the left side of the media browser. The media browser also gives access to royalty-free videos and images available on the KineMaster Asset Store. Tap the Asset Store button to go directly to the videos category. Tap a thumbnail to open the download screen. Then tap download. Videos and images that you download from the Asset Store can be added from the Video or Image Assets folders. Royalty-free media is also available courtesy of Pexels and Pixabay. If you would like to learn more about those services, there are links in the video description. You can also add entire KineMaster projects with the Merge Project button at the top of the screen. Tap on a video or image in the media browser to add it to the primary media layer. That's the top row of your project timeline. Primary media sits at the bottom of your layer stack. When you add other assets like effects, text, or stickers, they will always be visible on top. Images that you add to a KineMaster project are four and a half seconds. You can change that by tapping the Project Settings button on the left side of the screen. Then tap Editing. Changing the default photo duration will adjust how long your images are when you add them from the media browser. You can extend the primary media layer by adding more videos and images. The duration of the primary media layer determines how long your project will be when you save it as a video. Do you have questions about adding videos and images to your project? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy editing.